Hello, dear students of class 4. How are you all children? Hope you all are doing well. I am Vidya Rani, your English teacher. So children, today again I have come up with a video for you all that is from Gulmoha book chapter number 3, Tin and the Faraway Mountain. Children, in the earlier video of mine, we had done with part 1 and part 2 of same very chapter. So, again, we will carry on the same very chapter with part 3. So, children, before we start with the leftover story, let us quickly recapitulate what we had done in the earlier video of mine. Like children, this is the story about a girl whose name was what children? Tin. She had a longing, a wish to become a potter. And she, finally, she fulfills her wish being appointed as a potter in army. And how did she get that? Because in, during those days, women were not allowed to become a potter. What did she do, children? She dressed herself in the boy's dress and she applied for potter in army. Till one week, no one could recognize that she was a girl. But later on, it was found by the officers and she was scolded even. But the officers knew that she knew the mountain areas very well. That is why they allowed her to be a potter in army. Later on, she had a dream to reach Mount Everest and she started to overcome her dream. Okay? And she did lots of preparation and started to climb the Mount Everest. Till here children, we had finished with part 2. So let us quickly start part 3 of same very chapter that is 10 and the faraway mountain chapter number 3. So children, put your fingers where am I reading that is page number 27. It was divided into four sections so that the climbers take rest at different camping point while journeying to the top of the mountain. But by the time Tin and her companion Cherry Sherpa reached the second camp, the weather had grown worse. Now to fulfill for campaigning on for campaigning to the Mount Everest, four sections were divided at where the climbers could take rest when they get tired, children. So now the stin started her journey to Mount Everest, started campaigning for Mount Everest along with her companion, what was her name, children? Her name was Cherry Sherpa. Okay? And all this started, they, these two, Cherry Sherpa and Tin, both reached to the second camp. Okay? Like four sections it was divided, they reached to the second camp. And till they reached to the second camp, the weather had grown worse. Now it was growing colder and colder. Since if we go higher, 
to the mountain it grows colder isn't it children the same thing happened and the weather turned worse do you want to go ahead cheering asked cheering asked whom children then that did she wanted to go ahead because cheering was afraid of that weather it was growing worse i don't think i will get another chance to do this tin replied she could hear the magical whoosh growing louder and louder it almost hypnotized her tin and cherry somehow managed to reach final camp just as they were about to take rest the stormy wind blew their tent and supplies away now when cheering asked ten children that did she wanted to carry on with the campaigning because the situation was growing worse the weather was growing worst okay weather condition was growing worst she said that i don't think i will get another chance to do such thing to make my dream come true i won't be getting another chance so i am not going to get back i'll move ahead okay and she could hear that whoosh sound that sound of the wind children she could hear and that encouraged her to proceed further okay children that encourage that bush sound always used to encourage her to move ahead until the time they could reach to the final camp four sets were placed there four camps were set to let the campers rest there she reached to the final camp and by that time the weather was again it was growing worst and worst okay and the storm started blowing and they blew the tent where they were resting where they were supposed to rest they blew the tent and whatever supply supplies means what children whatever food materials they had whatever food materials whatever first aid whatever things necessary to carry on living whatever were they in the tent the storm had blew it away okay everything blew in the air and was thrown away they had to spend the night in one borrowed tent and when they set off for the final climb the next day all tin and cherry had was a packet of noodles okay everything was blown by the wind what they could do children they borrowed a tent someone others tent to rest in that tent and they finally the next very day set to climb the final climb of the mountain to the topmost okay and what was left with tin and cherry because everything was blown by the wind nothing was left for them what was left to eat a packet of noodle just one packet of noodle they had okay let's share half of it cherry suggested now cherry suggested that let's have half you take and half i'll eat okay she nodded her head nodded her head means do did like this like this okay children so tin nodded her head she did not wanted to have that and smiling determinedly if we make it alive we will eat the other half now she said i am not going to eat if we reach to the top most of the mount everest and make our dreams come true 
if we are alive till that time then only i'll have this noodles okay children that strong determination was with her the higher they climbed the stronger the wind grew for every two steps they took it sent them reeling back a step now higher they climbed they went higher and higher whenever they went higher and higher strong wind used to push them back and when they used to put two steps ahead they were moved by the wind one step backward children so it was not a easy task for tin to carry on to the top of the mount everest it was a difficult job for her still she carried on why children because she had a strong determination it shrieked and howled whispered dread into their ears and urging them to return back weather was so bad weather condition grew so bad that that weather was telling them to return back but the stin did not return because she knew she won't be getting the next option any time but tin could only hear the magical tune of bush so they pushed ahead fearlessly and continued to climb to the top but what a, what she could hear that bush sound that encouraged her to reach the top of the mountain turn the page children to page number 28 finally at 10:45 am on 9th may 2011 tin's effort was rewarded she summited mount everest the highest mountain in the world the first woman from north east of india to have done so she had found her far away mountain and was one with the sound that had called her all her life now finally at 10:45 on 9th may what happened children she finally reached mount everest and she was awarded for it because she was the first woman from north east of india to have done so she was the first woman such a proud moment was it for 10 children just imagine okay now finally when she reached to the top of the mount everest she had found her far away mountain those miss me hills of arunachal pradesh where she used to live before in ichali okay children she could feel that far away mountain and she could hear that sound what sound children that whoosh sound which had called her whole life this was the story of the tin children she had a strong determination to reach till the top of the mount everest so children this is a lesson for you all also children nothing is impossible in this world if you have a strong determination inside you you can also achieve what you wish what you dream so children with this moral i end the story hope you all must have enjoyed this beautiful adventurous story children keep reading this story learn all the new words of this story the difficult spellings of this story okay this very chapter and keep on reading so that your reading skill improves till then children take care bye